What's up guys? We're on here. This time on 3D Nerd Stop, we're going to print out a wall bracket so I can hang out my motorcycle helmets. Alright guys, here's the model we're going to print out today. Um, this is a wall bracket for a motorcycle helmet. This is what it actually looks like. So you can hang a motorcycle helmet up on the wall. Now I've got a couple motorcycle helmets, so I actually need two of these. So what we'd do is we would download this file as usual, and then we would open it up here in Cura. And let's see here. So we'll go open the file up. And here we go. As we can see, it's a pretty big bracket. So we'll just kind of move it up here. And then we need another one, so we'll open it up again. And up with the two of them, it doesn't seem to fit. So let's take one of these and flip it and flip it. And then by doing that, we can now fit both of them on the print bed. So there we go. Now we have two of them on the print bed. So now we can print them both at once. So as we can see, this says it's going to take 10 hours and 25 minutes, which is 56.33 meters of materials, which is 168 grams. We are going to do this at our standard settings at a 0.2 layer height, a shelf thickness of 1.2, a top and bottom layer thickness of 1.2, fill density of 20%. We're going to do this at a print speed of 60. We're going to do this at a print temperature of 210 and a bed temperature of 50. We shouldn't need any support material on this, so we're not going to put any on it. Okay? So, we'd save this off to our SD card, get the printer heated up, and get her printing. Alright guys, here you go. Here's the print. As you can see, it printed out real nice. Now, I didn't expect it to look bad or not. This is a fairly simple print. There's not a lot of detail to it. Um, as you can see, it looks really good. Um, now, I will tell you all, I did shoot some footage of me mounting this on the wall, but the footage didn't come out, so I'm not going to use it. So, here's a photo of it hanging on the wall. Okay. Now, it's kind of hard to tell in this photo, but you can kind of see it. The fact that you can't see the top screw hole. Well, that makes it really hard to put a screw in. And it's more like getting a screwdriver into it to turn the screwdriver because 
here on this double one you can see it on the right hand side there's not a whole lot of space between the back of what holds the helmet up and the screw head so it does make it difficult to get a screw in there so the only thing i would probably change about this model is maybe make that back brace a little bit taller so you can get it's easier to get a screw in um either that or figure out a way to move the hole down a little bit more so you can put a hole through the bottom of the brace going all the way through so you can put a screwdriver through it and get to it maybe something like that but other than that that's about the only thing i'd change about it other than that they work great they hold the helmets up here's my helmets hanging on them and that's you know they do exactly what they're supposed to do they weren't too difficult to print they came out wonderful and they're doing their job thank you all for watching if you like what you saw please like and subscribe please leave a comment down below i'd love to hear from you until next time, have a great day.